and welcome to the Artist Awards. In the Artist Awards, you will learn about different art eras throughout history. We have six art awards for different art eras, but there will only be one winner. The first award is the Renaissance Award. The Renaissance, an era occurring between 1400 and 1600, featured many famous pieces of art, including many famous artists, such as Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Raphael, Botticelli, Bosch, and many more. Let's take a look at the nominees. The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Salt Portrait by Raphael. And the winner of the Renaissance Award is The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Congratulations, Leonardo da Vinci. Now as I head over to the next stage, I'll talk about the next award, the Baroque Award. The Baroque era featured many important pieces of, pieces of art, but was also an important time for music. S some composers of the time were Bach, Handel, Vivaldi, Purcell, and more. Ah, here we are, the next stage. As I was saying, art and music flourished around this time. Let's take a look at the nominees. Las Maninas by Valley's Quiz. The Milkmaid by Vermeer. The Night Watch by Rembrandt. The Art of Painting by Vermeer. And the winner of the Burke Award is The Night Watch by Rembrandt. Congratulations, Rembrandt. Now the next award is the Neoclassical Award. Neoclassical basically means new classical. It's based on art in Greece and Rome. Let's take a look at the nominees. Oath of Harati from Jacques Louis David. Napoleon I on his imperial throne by Jean Auguste Dominique Inger. Three Singers by Angelica Kaufman. And the winner of this award is the Oath of Harati. Now the next award is going to be the Impressionism Award. Happening around the 1870s and 1900s, Impressionism came around the time when cameras were invented. Because of this, the way some art was done had to be changed. Portraits of people were not as needed to be done by painters when they could do it with a camera in five minutes. That's one of the major reasons Impressionism happened. Now let's go take a look at the nominees. Water Lilies, or One of Them, by Claude Monet. What I mean by one of them is that Claude Monet had many paintings titled Water Lilies. This is just one of them. Bal du Moulin de la Galette, by Pierre-Auguste Renoir. The Ballet Class, by Edgar Degas. The Child's Bath, by Marie Cassatt. And the winner of the Impressionism Award is Baldo Moline de la Galette. Congratulations, Renoir. The next award is the Surrealism Award. Surrealism, happening around the 1920s and 1930s, was inspired by dreams and what happens in your subconscious mind, which is pretty much where you are when your mind is asleep and dreaming. Let's go take a look at the nominees. The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. The Son of Man by Rene Magritte. The Farm by Jean Miro. And the winner of the Surrealism Award is The Son of Man by Rene Magritte. Great job, Rene Magritte. Now, the last award is the Abstract Expressionism Award. Abstract Expressionism, which happened around the 1940s and 1970s, is about showing emotions, but in ways that are not so obvious. Artists use many different colors to express different things. Let's go take a look at the nominees. Blue Poles by Jackson Pollock. Orange and Yellow by Mark Rothko. Excavation by William de Kooning. Jen F. Kennedy by Elaine de Kooning. And the winner of the last award, the Abstract Expressionism Award, is 
Blue Poles by Jackson Pollock. Congratulations, Jackson Pollock. Now we'll talk about other significant art eras, but without awards. The Rococo era, which happened between 1720 and 1760, was a very influential art movement in France. Its realistic and beautiful paintings make this art movement worth noticing. The Swing was a very famous art piece from the Rococo era. Romanticism, which happened between 1800 and 1850, was a type of art where many feelings were displayed like mystery and spirit-like. There are all kinds of art themes in the era, like beautiful landscapes and religion. Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog is a famous painting from the Romanticism era. The next era is realism, which happened between 1840 and 1870. These paintings were based around a similar concept in which they present everyday situations, but in a realistic way. The Desperate Man was a painting from the realism era. The next art period is pre-Raphaelite from 1848 to 1854. Although this era happened hundreds of years after Raphael was alive, it has this name because the artists of this era drew inspiration for their art from before the time of Raphael. Found is a painting from the pre-Raphaelite era. The next era is Post-Impressionism from 1880 to 1920. Post-Impressionism involves many different colors and painting in many different ways. Vincent van Gogh painted Wheatfield of Crows, which is a painting from the Post-Impressionism era. The next one is Fauvism from 1905 to 1910. Art during the Fauvism era included interesting brush strokes and many strong colors. It was also pretty big in France. I and the Village by Marc Chagall is a painting from the Fauvism era. Next is Expressionism from 1905 to 1925. The point of Expressionism wasn't really to show realistic things in painting, but instead show emotions in unique ways. The Scream in 1893 was painted by Edward Munch and is part of the Expressionism era. The next art era is Cubism from 1908 to 1920. Art here was very geometric. Things would be painted in very interesting ways. Portrait of Pablo Picasso is a painting from the Cubism era. The next era is Dada from 1916 to 1923. Here is when art could pretty much be anything. You could probably take a flat tire from your car and consider it art. It was a very interesting time for all pieces of art. Bicycle wheel was um, a piece of art from this era. The next era is pop art from the mid 50s to the 60s. Pop art had its name because lots of art was inspired by pop culture. Andy Warhol made Campbell's soup cans in 1962. And that's the show. Thank you so much for coming. And one more thing, these awards don't actually mean anything. They're just for fun. Anybody can like any types of art. Thank you again for coming. See you later, bye. These are my sources for my project. There are both image sources and informational sources in here. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it.